Hey guys and uh, yeah, girls, whatever. Uh, this is Hot Noob again. So, right, like usual, just gonna start up everything, and it's been unusually fast for me. I'm gonna name this Post 3, and um, in this case, you guys can name it if else statements, whatever you want, right? And uh, like before, we're gonna make a new console application. So, in this tutorial, obviously, we're going to be talking about if-else statements. So, pretty much, um, basically, if an if statement checks the, the condition within the, the brackets, right? So, um, if 1 plus 1 equals 2, right, then it will execute because values will be true, right? Oh, do mistake, eh? Mm. Wait, uh, I don't think he needs brackets here. Alright, there we go. So, um, if it's true, right? So, 1 plus 1 does equal 2, right? So, true. Then it will execute the code within the brackets. And... In this case, it's going to make it output um, just, you know, 1 plus 1 equals 2, right? Or equal equals 2, right? Whatever. Um, you can also change it to if it doesn't equal. Right? So, um, in which case, this will not be executed because now the condition will return false. Then, you know, let's say we want to make a chain of them, or if we want it to, um, you know, just check them, whatever. So we're going to say else, you know, this is if the first condition is false. So, in this case, let's just change this to 1 plus 1 does not equal 2. So, um, let's say if 1 plus 1... equals, I don't know, 3. Obviously, you know, this is false, right? False. So this won't run either, right? So this um, won't run, this won't run, but the computer still checks it anyway. So if these conditions are both false, then we can use the else, right, if we still want to add something or do something. So dot right line the above conditions or whatever these are false. Right? So this executes if both this condition and that condition are both false. So uh you know um since uh, if a condition is pretty much returning true or false, you can also do um, bool my bool equals true. Then we put it in a condition my bool, right? It's just saying like if true or yeah, pretty much that's it. If true, then you know let's say my bool is true. In this case. If my bool true. Right, so um this is just a shortcut. You could if you really wanted to just type in equals true, right? But I like to keep it this way. So if it's true then it executes this line of code. But if we change it to false, obviously this doesn't get executed. Right, and let's say else. then my rule equals false, right? So if it's false, right, um, in this, let's, uh, you know, just test this out, right? So uh, copy this over again, and in this case, change it to, right, 
And notice how it gives me an error when I try to define the variable type again. It's you know trying to create a new one with the same name. It doesn't like that. You can't do that, pretty much. Um, now we're going to get into um, operators, right? Condition operators. Um, you got. Uh, let's start with the basic, and you know, like if. And and or. So let's say if um, well, let's first create some test variables. My bool two. Right, let's just go my bool equals true. Then bool my bool two is false. So let's say if my bool and like uh, this means that they both have to be true or you know meet the condition my bool 2 is also true so in this case only my bool is true and my bool 2 is false so this will not execute now um, let's put an else else if my bool or my bool too, in which case only one of them needs to be true for the code to execute. And if all else fails, you got your else. Right? Um, in the example on the website, I used a new if statement. So um, the only difference really is that with an if else statement it's o this only gets checked if this is false if it were an if statement then this would get checked and if this is false or true doesn't matter what this will also get checked which is why we're doing else doesn't really matter what you do right now um Let's say you want to check for if it's false. There's two ways you can do this. You can put the exclamation mark, which means not. So in this case, if my bool is not true, then it will return true. Or if my bool two and my bool two is not true, then it will return true. So if we change these both to false, in this case they both equal false. So this would be true. But um, to put this back to true, you can also um, have one right like this. And in this case, it would also be true because my bool. Sorry, other way around. <laughs> because um, in this case, my bool would be equal to true. So if my bool equals true, let's just write this out so you can see it better. Or, and, I mean, sorry, and my bool 2 equals false or the I, I mean um, it's not equal true sorry about that <laughs> then in um, this case it would be true again right uh, you can do the same thing here right um, this will st right now it's still true right but um, let's say if uh, we want to if it doesn't equal true, or you know, you could just say equals. This is the same thing, pretty much. Um, and this one is true, right? Um, right now, my bool is equal to true, so it does not equal false. So this returns false here, and my bool too is false. So it's doesn't equal true. I hope I'm not confusing too many of you here, right? So in this case, it would be false. And, um, well, this won't be called right now because this is currently true. Let's change this to false, so this pretty much makes it equal that, right, true, 
So this way, this will currently equals false, and this also equals false. So then we get to the else again. Hopefully that didn't confuse too many of you. And um, like before, like stated before, um, conditions can also be put into variables. So if uh, my condition, you know, whatever, one plus one equals two, in which case it's true, you know, condition and yaddy yaddy. Uh, if you want to, you know, take a look more on operators and uh, stuff, it's all here. Nice big long reference, right? Um, for example, uh, just take a look here, like um, the greater than operator, right? It's got a nice example here. So I'm just going to quickly write down one, my n equals 10. If my int is less than my int 2, right? In which case it is, then this code would be executed. Hopefully that makes sense unless you dropped out at like grade 6 or something, right? <sighs> you know, hopefully you know the difference between, um, you know, let's just put dollar signs, you know, 10 and 20 dollars, right? That's pretty much it. And, yep, I believe that's pretty much it for the if-else statements. There's obviously more to it, but this is the pure basics. You'll probably learn the rest naturally, right? Hopefully, anyway. Alright, and, uh, yep.